you guys reiterate night traps are being things, terif- as being terrifying. You notice how quickly I moved on. Are there a few that. specific things you guys could point out that make it terrifying? Yeah, I'm interested in that the one too. The dark. <laughs> the dark. <laughs> Along with the fact that your airport is moving, but mostly yeah. the dark. <laughs> Well, like darker than dark. Yes, everything like, Wombat said is true. But Connor, the thing that really that really gets you is the illusions. Um, so your eyes and your ears are telling you, hey, I'm super steep, but you're not. Mm-hmm. And the LSOs aren't saying anything. So you keep it coming, even though you want to puke in your mask. And it's really hard to overcome that. And that's what makes it terrifying because every fiber in your body is telling you you're super steep, you're super low, you're, you're way off parameters because we're visual creatures backed up by what our inner ears uh, tell us. And that's what makes it terrifying because you basically sounds corny. You're, you're confronting your fears and like, no, <laughs> I'm on and on. And uh, Trust your instruments, that's right? Oof. instruments and, and LSO. So that's what makes yeah. it uh, terrifying. In addition to what Wombat said, everything there is valid too. Well, and dude, Plus if you, you come up the... door, you die. Yeah, there's that. You have the rest of your life to figure out how to land an aircraft carrier every Correct. time you do it, which is dope. Um, did you ever get the sensation? So the thing I noticed in the Gulf, which I know you were out there probably the same time I was, is the... So for me, and not everybody's the same, but for me, the, the oil platforms that would blow off the, oh, yeah. the gas that made me feel upside down for some reason yep. in my brain when i would see those i was upside down so like in my brain i was seeing them blow down and i'm like oh and then you'd look at your adi or you know hud and the hornet and you're like that doesn't check out i mean well hands down like you just get really good at flying with vertigo <laughs> <laughs> like really good yeah that and that what you're talking about those uh those and also even other ships out there would mess with my what i perceived myself my height above the water Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um because it's pitch black and you see a light and all of a sudden you're like is that a ship holy shit is that the is that the horizon what else am i at right so moon where am i um, (laughs) why didn't i join the air force or at least fly cods so many mistakes were made (laughs) so many mistakes yeah connor that's i mean what what yeah, we just talked it. about and the fact that you're you're uh it's not it's not uncommon to be spatially deed at least at some point during the approach. 